Hey guys, hey everyone, it's Gabe Carroll, and today I'm gonna do an interview of the uh, of the Hot Wheels 124 scale, the the Destroyer monster truck. Now I want to take a story back for this for the Destroyer truck. Now the Destroyer was invented back in 1999 with it, it was invented in 1999. It's a blue. It looks. It's a bluer truck it's not like it's not like this kind of truck especially it's a it's a the first truck the model of it is actually a Chevy truck and then long later like in back like in 2007 they invented the Ford F-150 truck so it was like this right now in this year they've this truck was first aired in 2011 and I mean in the real version like in real life it looks pretty cool the problem is that it's the model on this thing like the like the vehicle it's it looks like a Cadillac pickup truck like a Cadillac Escalade or something but it's supposed to be a Ford or Chevy it's supposed to be like that Anyway, in 2000, they invented the Chevy flaming truck when they had, when they had like a, like a white flame like right here on the hood and then all the way to orange and they had the word, des the, the destroyer and had the word Dan Evans. Like, yeah, Dan, Dan Evans the, actually was the first driver who drove the destroyer and he was actually good at driving that machine. I mean, it was his first truck was the Chevy like the Chevy Silverado or something like that and then and then like in 2004 they invented the flaming one like the truck was like completely flame like it had like flames all on top all covered it especially it had the word the destroyer especially it had like flames on it like it had the word gray had like the gray one and it had like flames covering around it and especially it had the had the word the on top of the d and then in 2005 they invented the yellow truck the yellow version it's kind of interesting too because i saw the uh i saw the 164 scale destroyer truck the flaming one and it and when i was little and i went to a at autozone and they actually sell these small monster trucks and i looked at one and i saw a yellow truck and it says the word destroyer and it's like i didn't know the destroyer had like a yellow yellow truck and i was like and i was like i thought they only made like the red ones and and they do but they only sell like the yellow version of it and it was like in 2005 when they invented the two the yellow one but in 2007 they moved on and they they stopped making the flaming truck because it kind of looks old to to them, to Monster Jam fans when they are probably tired of the flaming destroyer truck. And then they started inventing the Navy version. Like, like what I meant is was they had like the destroyer word. They had like a Navy truck, a Navy ship, like right here. Too. it looks pretty cool and then they had the waves like like water and everything too it looks pretty cool on the destroyer truck and then they had the Ford version like the Ford F-150 then then sooner or later Dan after that Dan Evans retired from the destroyer and then he drove the Jetix truck you may not know what Jetix is it's a it's a TV company that makes like kid shows, but suddenly it declared bankruptcy in 2013. And then, or something like that. But in 2011, they invented this truck. And then another driver named Roger Sadov. You can't actually see his name. You can't see his first name, but you can, you can actually see his last name right there. The, his first name is cursive or something, but you can't see the word. Roger but this this truck looks okay it looks a future version of it of the destroyer and it has like flames 
right behind the word destroyer the logo looks okay and on the back you can see it has like black flames too it looks pretty awesome on this thing i mean hot wheels has done a pretty good job they deserve like they should deserve a reward or something like that and then they had the word hot wheels on on the other side of the truck too and had one right here they got word hot wheels and they got the old logo of the monster jam this logo was actually changed like a long time ago and then they had the logo was actually changed on the monster jam logo if i my camera can focus so closely yeah but they did one mistake on this thing too it's actually confusing on which model this thing is i mean it's i think it's like a ford or a cadillac or a chevy it can be like that but it actually is supposed to be a ford because this thing is look similar to the ford version or the chevy version but the only thing but there's another thing too you can actually take the body off this thing the issue is that you have to the issue is you have to like take care you have to like keep watch for the screws on this thing. This actually screw is screwed into the to the roll cage of the truck. So you have to like keep them safe in your pocket because if you like lose them, you actually have you have like if you like lose one of them and you screw one then you're actually not gonna have like a wobbly body on this thing. <laughs> but upside down you can actually see the Phillips right there. There's the one for the front, too, right there. And then right in there is the uh, second one. You can take the body off in this thing. If you actually see the uh, real life in this, in the real life freestyle, you can actually, the body's actually made out of fiberglass. And, but, you can also just like, if you like roll over, like do a um, backflip or something, the body can actually, some of the body pieces can like come off of this thing, for real, at all. So, I mean, I just, I just still like the 2007 version, like with the uh, Navy, the uh, Army ship right here, and then the word destroyer. It's kind of interesting. It's my, it's one of my favorite trucks, like my second best, but my first favorite truck was Grave Digger. So. Anyways, that's all for this video, and if anyone likes it, just please notice if you like this at all, this video at all. So, I mean, there there can be like a lot of destroyer trucks online. They just don't sell the 2007 version. So, anyway, just make sure you just like this video. All right, see ya.